cannot compare one's behavior when he's alone to when he is in the presence of a king. Because surely when he's in the presence of a king, he's going to be cautious to behave much better. And he's going to be more aware of every single little action that he performs and the manner in which he performs it and the attitude that he and and the emotions that he um, that he gives off when he performs them. Obviously, when he's in the presence of a king, he's going to be much more. He's going to perform them with, them with much more um, intention, much more devotion. So now imagine when one is in the presence of the Holy One, blessed be He, Hashem. They're obviously going to be, because of their fear and awe of the greatness and the glory of Hashem, every little detail that they, that are involved in the tasks that I perform for Hashem are going to be with so much passion and one's going to give them all he's got and 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 so so that's the whole point just in the presence of a physical king a human one will be cautious imagine how much more so with the king of kings Hashem when one really thinks about this that Hashem is omnipresent and hears everything and sees everything and fills everything and the very fact that something is happening is, is because Hashem formed everything which consists in every moment the very objects and the very matter that make up those moments were created by Hashem so when one's aware of this it's going to bring them to be to have fear and love of Hashem and also cause them to be ashamed to sin in front of them. And it will give them a desire to come close to God. The more we think about the greatness of Hashem, the more we contemplate His greatness and really think about it and delve into it and try to feel it, the more it's going to bring us to be afraid and to be ashamed of what we've done. But now one must understand that this is a great thing. And yes, at first it's good to feel that fear and shame, but understand that the very fear and shame that you're feeling is such a positive sign, and it's a great indication that you are headed in the right direction. And one must remember that he must keep going with these good these good emotions, and they they must follow them because they are his soul, and they are the ones that, they are the emotions that will guide him in the right direction and shape him and form him in a way that will, he will be holy in front of his father. So, this is from the Kitzur of Shulchan Aruch, and I'll try to continue with this, with this um, concept. But the main thing we're saying here is that Hashem sees everything, He hears everything. And just because we don't always remember this, doesn't mean it's not any less more so than ever. Um, the very fact that it, the very fact that we can't always see Hashem's presence, the very fact that that's so, is only to give us free will and to really test us to see, well, okay, when Hashem, when it appears like Hashem's not in front of you, are you still going to have kavod for Him? Are you still going to respect Him? So remember, we have an amazing opportunity here on earth, and I wish you all, all the very best in your, in your service of the Creator. All the best.